Hey guys, trigger warning for this entire episode, we go into some very dark themes involving unaliving. So there was a lot of instances of a certain word being used, so I decided it was best to leave it uncensored. So if you're in a bad headspace or if this topic is triggering for you, feel free to skip this one. It is a-okay. I would rather you prioritize your mental health and there's a lot of other videos to watch. So. I hope you enjoy nonetheless, and thank you for listening! Hello everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa! The last episode was really, really sad, and it was kind of long, but it was action-packed, and I think it was worth the length. Um, but um, now we're hearing Hina's explanation of why she didn't tell us that Sakura died the way she did, I think? I forget, but she's gonna explain! You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? Look at this! Oh, such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Oh! Th that's... I found it on the ground! In front of the rec room! It's... Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her and... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I... Can't calm down! I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault after all. But now you're suffering because of me. You tried to protect me, but because of me, my closest friend got hurt! S Sakura? Because of me, my friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with them. Oh, You asked to meet with those three? You can't! Don't you see how dangerous that is? Oh, don't worry. I just want to talk to them. Talk about what? Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you... Hina, please don't think of things like that. They're not the enemy. They're friends. S Sakura! Oh no! She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you just talked to her, you would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet... And yet! Oh no... That's so sad... You trampled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable! N no, that was just a, a, a misunderstanding! Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding! She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. Do you have any idea how desperate she was, seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's how far you pushed her! Sakura! What happened to you? Hina, you came. Oh... Wait right here, I'll help you out! Hina... Huh? I'm... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I... I have a favor to ask. A favor? I'd like some protein. 
Could I ask you to? Yeah, you got it! Just hang on! I'll be right back! That was the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she'd asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized... I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura! So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. By the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Let me in! Please, open the door! Why? Why? Why did she have to die? She had weaknesses, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet, you all blamed her. I tried to protect her, and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. You know, we killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> and that's why you tried to lead us astray? You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I want to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Nah, nah. I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver your final tearjerker, but... It's just taking so long, 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 long! I'm about to fall asleep over here! I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What did you say? Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant. Of course I know what she was thinking! Cause her and me... Well, what I'm really trying to say is... Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really... like this? What is that? Isn't it obvious? A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. What? But Hina already... Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. This is just the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. What? Then... You... Lied to me? Oh, don't say lie! It makes it sound so dirty! I just thought I'd liven things up a bit! I can't help it if you totally took my little scribbles at face value! It didn't even have Sakura's signature on it! You filthy little... I'm not filthy! I didn't do anything! Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and scene. Cut. So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. But you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? Oh my gosh, this is so dark. And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. Could you get on with it, please? Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about a buzzkill. All right, here we go. Ahem. 
them. My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been gathering information to the one who has imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. You see, the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch, so even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, it was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the Mastermind. And more than anything, I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. Oh, so that's why Sakura... She just couldn't bring herself to kill. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going... To resist you! Man... Of course, because of that I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. Ironic, isn't it? Maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic? Damn! Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get the situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told, and commit murder. But I've decided, the one I'm going to kill is... Myself. If the Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Man... Whatever you think of me, please, know that you are all my most treasured friends. That's so sad! I've never had people like you in my life. Then, Sakura! You're lucky we didn't all die, Hina, because she wanted everyone to get along now. Didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating us. She wanted to 
stop us from fighting? To protect us? So. She didn't end her life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. Demo. It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Oh, Hina, it's okay though, you didn't know. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please, don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, then I can keep you from killing each other. That's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I want you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I want to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with the rest of everyone else. No matter what, just survive. Cry! <laughs> this is... I... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still. But in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other. But you almost ended up doing it anyway. Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearby bit the big one! She deserves all the blame! Everyone blame her! Go ahead, she deserves it! Oh my god, Monokuma, you are cruel ba uh, beyond cruel! <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided! What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone! Huh? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Huh? Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina, either! What? Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered. Because the one we need to destroy... Is you! Nobody else! What the heck?! That's not how this is supposed to go! But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Your enemy? IS EACH OTHER! <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Hmm. Ah, lovely Byakuya! You understand, don't you? <laughs> this is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. <laughs> Which is why I'm bowing out of the game. Wah, Byakuya! Huh? Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear that the others have cast aside their fear of this game. There is no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What's going on here? 
Now I only have one thing to look forward to. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. But Byakia, does this mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism if that's what you're thinking. Wherever Master goes, I go! And if the Mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire! Uh, everyone! No. Well, now can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? Huh, how boring! I have, like, plus ten respect points for Byakuya right now, hell yeah! But nothing good can come of this. I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time! Do, do the fun time? Anyway, let's forget about the good-for-nothing backstabber and get back on track! It's the moment you've all been waiting for! Punishment time! Wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead! You're not gonna... It, is it me? Oh heavens no! Just cause the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want! Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the bear times one rule! But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment! It'd be a shame to let it go to waste! So for my special punishment, I've prepared a special guest! A special guest? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! What? <laughs> okay, I have no idea who this special guest is going to be. I feel like I have no idea what is going on anymore. But I'm going to end this episode here. Ha <laughs> ha, cliffhanger. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And stay tuned for the next episode tomorrow where we figure out who the special guest will be. Bye-bye.